In the heat of ancient India, I pondered a problem. I needed a way to represent nothingness, a concept that had puzzled thinkers for centuries. Existing number systems used symbols for quantities, but there was no symbol for the absence of quantity. Around 628 CE, I had a revolutionary idea. I introduced a new symbol, a dot, to represent this void. This dot was not just a placeholder, it was a number with its own properties. I defined rules for arithmetic with this new number, outlining how to add, subtract, multiply, and even divide by zero. This was groundbreaking. My work, the Brahma Sfuta Siddhanta, introduced zero as a concept to the world and laid the foundation for a revolution in mathematics. This tiny dot, seemingly insignificant, was the seed of a powerful idea. It would blossom into the number zero as we know it today, a symbol so fundamental to our understanding of the universe. While Brahmagupta formalized zero, earlier civilizations had already grappled with the concept of emptiness in their number systems. The Babylonians, renowned for their advanced mathematics, used a system based on 60. We employed a double wedge symbol as a placeholder to distinguish between numbers like 1, 60, and 3600. Similarly, the Mayans in Mesoamerica developed a sophisticated calendar system. We used a shell symbol to represent zero, indicating the absence of days within our intricate calendar cycles. While these ancient placeholders served a similar purpose to zero, they lacked the full mathematical properties that Brahmagupta would later define. These early attempts to represent nothingness demonstrate the universality of this concept. Across different cultures and continents, the human mind sought ways to quantify the void, paving the way for Zero's eventual triumph. Zero's journey from India to the West was a long and gradual process. Arab scholars, recognizing the power of this new number, adopted it into their own mathematical system. Through their translations and scholarship, Zero reached Europe in the Middle Ages. Initially met with resistance, as many clung to older Roman numerals, zero eventually gained acceptance. The adoption of the Hindu-Arabic numeral system with zero at its heart revolutionized mathematics in Europe. It simplified calculations, making complex operations easier to perform. This led to advancements in algebra, calculus and other fields, ushering in a golden age of scientific discovery. Zero's impact extended far beyond the realm of mathematics. It became an essential tool for commerce, navigation and engineering. Without Zero, our modern world would be unimaginable. Today, Zero is ubiquitous, underpinning our technological world. It forms the bedrock of binary code, the language of computers. Every bit of information processed by our devices, from smartphones to satellites, relies on the simple concept of zero and one. In physics and engineering, zero plays a crucial role in calculations involving gravity, temperature and energy. Our understanding of the universe, from the smallest particles to the vastness of space, is built upon a foundation that includes the concept of zero. Zero's journey, from a dot in ancient India to the heart of modern technology, is a testament to the power of human ingenuity. This seemingly simple concept continues to shape our world, driving innovation and expanding our understanding of the universe.